All right. So in the previous video, we uh, spoke about choosing a good hosting company and why it's important to do so. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to set up your WordPress website now that you've installed it on your hosting company. All right. So let's move on and let's get started. So this is what you'll see when you install WordPress through your web hosting company. And as you can see, this is a basic website. There's nothing going on. In fact, it's so plain that we really need to go in and start making changes to this. All right. So what I'm going to do now now is I'm going to log on to my admin dashboard. This is where we're going to spend a lot of time because this is where we take control of our website. Where we are right now is what the world will see. Okay, so to get into our admin dashboard, we need to uh, add a forward slash WP hyphen admin at the end of your URL. And this is going to take you to this page right here. So this is where you need to enter your username and password that you would have created on your hosting account. Okay, so that's my username and password. And now I am in my dashboard. So the first thing you wanna do is to make sure you have the relevant pages that you're going to need. So you wanna come over here to pages, click on all pages so at least you can see what you have. So right now I just have home. So I need to add one more. This page here is going to be our contact page. I'm gonna hit publish. And next I'm gonna add another page. And this is going to be a page that shows all the courses on the website. So I'm gonna come over here, click on add new. So I'm gonna call this courses, hit publish, and now this is published. Okay, now when we take a look at our website, I wanna show you something very important here. So back over here on our dashboard, if we take a quick look at our site, and I'm gonna open this in a new tab, we notice that we don't really have a menu going on here. So we, ideally, we wanna make it easy for people to click and find their way around the website. So let's create the menu. So to create the menu, you wanna come over here on appearance and then click on menus. So you wanna give this menu a name. So we just wanna call this main menu. And then in your case, you would have a button here which says create menu. Once you've done that, you wanna come over here to your pages. So these are all the pages that are on our site. So you wanna select the pages and then add them to the menu. So now you can see we have home, contact and courses, and you can drag these around if you want to rearrange them in the order that you want. And then finally, make sure it's set to primary menu and then you want to hit save menu or update menu. Now, when you come back over here and refresh the page, you're going to notice that now we have our links here on the top and this is really, really cool. So this is how you add your menu. Next, we wanna make sure that when people land on our page, it's going to be our main homepage. So right now, this is a blog article and this is how the site is set up. So back over here now, we can go to settings, reading. Over here, you want to uh, make sure you select static page and your static page here, you want this to be your home page. Great. So now that this is set, I am going to save changes. Great. Now, when we come on this page and refresh, this is now going to be our home page. But of course, right now we don't have much on this page. So now that we have this all set, let's head over back over here to our dashboard and we just want to clear things a little bit here. So I'm going to come to screen options and here I can remove a few things that I don't need because it's all clutter on my main dashboard. So I don't need WordPress events. I don't need quick draft and I don't need activity to be honest. So in fact, you know what? I just need to get rid of all of this except the site health status. Okay, that's all I'm gonna leave here. Now we are going to have a few more here as we build our site. Okay, so pretty much that's all we need to uh, do to set up our site here. The next video is all about installing our Tutor LMS plugin. So in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Tutor LMS plugin. See you in the next video.